Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. And if you're not new, thank you, thank you so much for coming back. I make videos on beauty, on family, on cooking, on everything that affects our lives on a regular basis. So I hope you will consider subscribing. And if you do, hit the bell so that you're notified of every video that I post. Today, I have some exciting, an exciting wear test on a foundation that I found that it's not really new, it's about a year old, but I had never heard of it, I had never heard of this brand, and this may trump every foundation I've ever tried in my entire life. Wanna know what it is and how it wears? Stay tuned and let's do this. I'm just gonna read what it says. Our silky smooth satin foundation provides long wearing buildable coverage with a lightweight feel on the skin that never looks heavy, true. It features calming chamomile to promote anti-aging and hydration while smoothing and plumping the skin to deliver a flawless, rejuvenated look. And I gotta say, I agree with all of these claims. So this is day four. I have been wearing this all week. It is cold, so not tested this in the heat, but this may be my holy grail of 2019. There is two drawbacks to this foundation. One, it's 48 bucks. It's clean beauty. It's got good for you ingredients. I'm willing to pay that if it's a holy grail foundation. Number two, it has eight shades eight shades. So this is gonna exclude a whole host of people because you're not gonna be able to find your shade and that is ridiculous. Um, I don't know if they just put this out kind of to test it and see if it would, you know, grow some roots and, and kick in and then make more shades, but osmosis, you need to make more shades of this because it is beautiful and it's good for you and you would sell a lot of them. But I'm gonna go throughout my day, I'm gonna check in with you, I'm gonna show you how it wears on me. Um, I do have to blot once because I get the slightest bit oily. Um, if I use the Revolution Pro Matte Primer in the T-Zone, it does help. I didn't do that today, so you can just see what it looks like all day. I did set it with my favorite loose rice powder, but, uh, and I have a video on that if you wanna see that. And, um, but no primer today, just so you could see it. So I'm gonna take you throughout my day and I'll show you what this looks like. And you guys, if you can find this in your color and you have texture issues, if you have fine line issues, if you have dry skin, if you have real oily, maybe not, but combo skin, if you want something to look beautiful and skin-like, not full coverage, medium, but beautiful on mature skin, on, I mean, on any skin, unless you have a ridiculous amount of stuff to cover, but then you can use concealer. I don't have any concealer on today. It's beautiful and it lasts all day. So let's take you throughout the day. Okay, I've got the Osmosis Color Foundation. I have nothing on my face. This is the natural light color. And I'm going to be using a sponge to put it on. I'm gonna shake it up, you can't hear it. I don't think you need to shake this, but I'm shaking it anyway. One pump is a pretty generous amount, and that's all I am going to use, I believe. So, let's just put this on. This is not my first time using it. This is day four of testing. It goes on beautifully. I mean, it, it looks like nothing, except it is super smooth. It, it dries to just a natural skin-like finish. It's medium buildable coverage. lasts all day, it fades beautifully, it doesn't settle into lines or wrinkles, uh, it barely oxidizes on me, which is a huge plus. Um, I've, I notice after about five or six hours, it has darkened just a little bit, um, but it doesn't turn orange, 
which is really nice. And I just want you to see the blue that I have under my eyes here. Um, I'm not even gonna use a concealer with this because it doesn't completely take it away, but a concealer doesn't completely take it away unless I use something like Tarte Shape Tape. And if I do that, it's real drying and then it emphasizes all the texture and lines under my eyes. And while I can make it work, it just looks dry. So I would rather have a tiny bit of the blueness showing through and have everything look smooth and youthful rather than having it dry but covered. That's kind of my lot in life. Oh, see, don't you just love my wake up in the morning hair look? It's fabulous. Now I do set this because it does have a slight sheen uh, to it when it's done and just to mattify it down a little bit. I don't know how this would hold up in the summer because I haven't tried it in the summer and it's not a matte foundation. So, not sure about that, but. Okay, this is one pump and it's, it's just, beautiful. And so I am going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, I have the rest of my makeup on and everything went on beautifully over the top of this. You guys, this looks better than my favorite CYO foundation. And what's amazing about this is that this is clean beauty. It has good for you skin ingredients and none of the bad stuff. Like CYO has parabens in it and stuff that, you know, if you can avoid putting on your skin, you should. But the only other clean beauty foundation that I've ever tried was Beauty Counter and it was just their natural one and I was an oil slick within three hours. I mean, it just did, it looked beautiful, but it didn't last on my skin. If you have dry skin, it probably would have lasted, but I have combo skin, pretty oily in the T-zone, and I live in Texas, so in the summer, it's ridiculous. I put this foundation on at eight o'clock this morning. So it's been on for seven hours, and I have not touched up at all. I have just, barely blotted the tiniest, tiniest bit of shine away from around my nose and on my forehead, and that is it. And it looks beautiful. It has not settled into any lines. It has not settled into pores. It has not creased at all. And it's been seven hours and it has not faded at all. It looks like I just applied it. Now, it's 30 degrees outside today and not at all humid. So, you know, whether or not this would hold up when it gets hot, I don't know. But for right now, this is a holy grail. I love this. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm here on my phone, which isn't the best camera, but it does give you more of a realistic look rather than a filtered look on, I mean, I don't have filters on my other camera, but it just seems to be a little more realistic. Um, but this is day five of testing it. It's Wednesday. I tested it Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is day five. And I got to say my favorite way so far with this foundation is using the Revolution Pro Matte Primer. Let me show you. It's this one right here. Makeup Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Primer. This is super thin, but it just whisks up all the extra oils in your face and then makes the makeup apply beautifully and it definitely lasts better throughout the day. And I just set my T-zone with my rice powder or the Laura Mercier setting powder and it, I blot maybe once and that's it. It doesn't settle into lines, it doesn't settle into pores, it fades beautifully. Um, I don't think this will be my holy grail for summer, I wish it would, I will try it, but um, it looks beautiful. 
You guys should definitely check this out. Two thumbs up. I just have to take you out in natural lighting so that you can see. I can't see, but so that you can see how beautiful this foundation is. It's been on for a couple hours. Hasn't changed a bit. It's gorgeous. With the primer. I really, really like it with this primer. This combo is amazing. Okay, see you in a few. Okay, I'm out in the afternoon light now. It is 3.30. I put this on at 8.30. I have not touched up. I have not blotted. I have not repowdered. I've done nothing. And it's still beautiful. No concealer at all. I love this stuff. See you later. Okay, it is 7 o'clock at night. It's been on for 10 and a half hours. Put it on 8.30. So... And I, the only thing that I did was take a tissue and um, at 5.30, all I did was just right here, just right here and here, I just sort of pressed right there. That was it. No other touch-ups, no powder, nothing. And it looks almost exactly like I put it on this morning. Everything is still on. Nothing has settled. It's beautiful. It's definitely at least for fall, winter, spring. We'll see how we do in the summer heat, but it is definitely because of the ingredients, how good for you it is. I'm not breaking out. It's not oxidizing that much. Granted, it's winter, not as oily, but I am still, like yesterday I wore it without the primer and it did get pretty shiny. So on its own, if you have dry skin, I think it's fine. If you have combo skin like me, that Makeup Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Primer and this foundation, Osmosis, is perfection for me. I love it. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this useful and helpful and please share this with anyone who is on the hunt for a holy grail foundation that actually looks beautiful all day on any kind of skin except extremely oily. I don't know about that. You might be able to get it to work, but I'm not sure. But share this, give it a thumbs up. I will have this linked in the description box below for the natural light. And there are some other ones on Amazon so that you can get it with Prime. That's kind of a nice thing rather than going somewhere else and paying the same amount and still having to wait a week and a half. Although when I ordered this, they said it was gonna come on December 20th and it came a full week early. So that was kind of cool, but I did have to pay shipping. So I'll have a link in the Amazon, but you can find it at Premier Look or Derm Store, other different places like that if you want. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.